guys, Jenny with On Fire Fit, and I am looking at my imperfect produce box that I got today. I used to get this a while ago, and I, I don't know why I stopped, but anyway, I just love the treasure hunt. Um, you get to pick what goes in the box, but I just love having fresh stuff come to the house. And also, I love that they're using produce that is imperfect because I can relate. <laughs> I am imperfect produce and I'm glad I didn't get thrown out. So normally grocery stores and stuff will throw out things that don't look perfect because people won't buy them. But there's people like me that purposely buy those things. <laughs> I think that's a very nice metaphor for the way God is with us, right? He purposely goes after the imperfect produce. <laughs> okay, so actually a lot of this is also like surplus. So I got garden wraps that are spring kale spinach. They are sprouted whole grains. And I'm looking forward to this. Um, my daughter is eating a certain way right now. I'm eating a certain way, and this fits into that for us. I actually already tore into this bag, so I can attest to the fact that these are really good. This is, and actually the brand is Angelic Bakehouse, and this is the turmeric sweet potato sprouted whole grain wrap. I also got some thin crust pizza. A crust basically for my son because he'll love that. I am actually going to throw this in the oven right now because my daughter asked me to make her avocado toast when she gets home from school but I'm like oh I can't I need to do this in the right order. <laughs> I need to show everybody what I got in my box before I start breaking into the bread. So I will be baking this and then making her some avocado toast. So that is always good. All right, and then we have some wonderful pasta sauce, no sugar added, that's Muir Glen. I think that's how you say that. Then we have some organic coconut milk. This is organic, vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, I use it in different things and sometimes just in a pinch in a smoothie if I don't have my other um, coconut milk or whatever. Okay, so we have some organic baby spinach. We have some blueberries. We have some quick cooking brown rice. I like to use brown rice for different things. I got an eggplant. I don't normally buy eggplant, although we do like eggplant. And I will probably slice this in some olive oil in the pan with some seasoning, and that's usually a hit. I always forget to buy a big plant. Okay, my daughter and I, of course, are addicted to dates. These are some organic dates, and I like trying different kinds. We get very excited about dates. So that's that. I got some shallots. So I love shallots because they're kind of a milder onion, I believe. Anyway, that's how I've always been told, but I love them. This is some parsley. I actually have a recipe that I'm making. I'm making a lot of vegan things right now, and this is gonna go in one of those recipes. I got some organic celery because I juice my daughter um, celery every morning with our juicer, so that's more of that. And then just randomly, here's some jalapenos. <laughs> my husband will love that. So uh, this is a butternut squash. And I think that there's ice packs down below here. Yeah, everything came on a bunch of ice, which was nice. And then I have a whole bunch of avocados. And more avocados. And then this will be my son's favorite part. This is hot cocoa mix, organic, equal exchange, fairly traded hot cocoa, and I believe that is it. Okay, so for this, I think they spent $40, if I recall right. If it's different, I'll put it in the, um, after I edit this. 
I did get, I think it was a 25% discount for the first two orders. And if you spend a certain amount, you um, don't have to pay the $5 delivery fee. So, and I think I ended up spending the amount. So I think that's really good for what I got. All, all this organic stuff and plus a lot of other staples. They have a lot of other things too. This is not an advertisement for them. I just have a lot of people that are healthy, living, healthy, learning type of people. And so it's fun for me to just show you what I'm doing and you know the things that, that I incorporate into my life. And not only is it sort of fun and exciting to eat fruits and vegetables that came delivered to you on ice all beautifully, um, but it's just kind of a good way to also try things that you might not normally try. Again, like the eggplant or something that, you know, normally I just don't even bother thinking about it when I'm at the store, but when I was going through the list online, I was like, oh yeah, I should make some eggplant. So anyway, I think that there's a code I will um, leave for you if you wanted to do the same thing where you can get a discount. But anyway, I just think it's a great way to try to build some new healthy habits. So I hope that you will join me in this fun endeavor this year to get healthier. I will see you soon. Live today on fire. And we have another imperfect produce delivery. I get so excited. This one I got a little bit extra because I did not get any delivery for a couple of weeks. So I ended up having kind of a lot of areas that we needed replacements for. So I have not opened these up yet. So let's look at them together. I'm trying to remember all that I got. Okay, this is colored greens. I believe, no, this one's kale. And I will probably freeze that because my smoothie bags are empty. This is colored greens. I don't normally cook with colored greens, but I keep trying new greens that I don't normally, I have cooked with them before, but it's been a long time. So, and then I ended up finding a recipe for some garlic, uh, collard green type of dish that I'm going to try out. So that is for that recipe. And I think this is parsley, Italian parsley. All right, what else do we have here? I have some zucchini. I have some seedless cucumbers. The English cucumber, which I like for the peel is um, not quite so tough, so it's easier on my stomach. And then I got a bunch of <coughs> jalapenos for my husband. So those there. All right, the rest of this is going to be, I have shallots, which we've been using these a lot. I always forget to buy shallots. I usually have onions in my um, cabinet, but Shallots are really nice and mild, so I like to get shallots. I have a bunch of loose uh, red potatoes and some red onion, and I think that's it. So red onion and shallots and potatoes in there. Now on to some of our favorite pizza crusts. So I got two of those. So my daughter, uh, is vegan and this is vegan I wanted to make sure it is and so she and she does not put cheese and she doesn't even like fake cheese neither do I so she has been using like a I make a homemade pizza sauce and then she puts a whole bunch of like spinach and shallots sometimes bell peppers onion things like that so, and then of course my son is more of a meat and carbs kind of a boy, so he'll sure he'll put cheese and pepperoni on that. Okay, and then we have some quinoa. I make my husband a quinoa dish at least once every week or two. This is a blend of white, red, and black quinoa. And then, oh, we're trying something new. I didn't know what these would be like, but this is a vegan croissant toast, plant-based. It also does not have nuts because my daughter is also allergic to nuts. So 
I always have to be cautious because a lot of plant-based things use nuts as their flour and stuff like that. But anyway, this is gonna be one we'll try croissant toast. And then I got my son a regular one of this croissant toast. So hopefully that tastes yummy. All right, this one is another one that I'm gonna try. Oh boy, I'm not gonna say this right. Ka kabocha, kabacha, kabo ka kabucha, <laughs> squash. It's a squash, so we will give that one a try. I got these corn tortillas because we needed some. The favorite sourdough bread that my family just absolutely loves. There's this one, it's a take and bake. It actually lasts a long time to, like if you don't use it right away, but unfortunately or fortunately, I don't know what, they usually go through the whole loaf in one day. And then this is a garlic bread one. I haven't tried the garlic bread one. And actually I wonder, I think my daughter won't be able to do this one because I think it already has butter on it, so. Then I got some rice noodles because I'm gonna try making some dishes with that. So we have more zucchini here. And what else do we have? We have some tomatoes. Those look a little pale, not the way that I would normally want them, but maybe I'll put them in a brown bag and see if they'll get a little bit redder. Uh, Looks like some sweet potatoes. I forget what all I ordered. Some garlic, gotta use that garlic. Then we have a bunch of avocados. My daughter does a lot of avocado toast and we love guacamole. My husband puts that. I usually make him meatless dishes twice a week is what he asked for on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I make him different things like the quinoa or I make beans and then he'll put avocado on there. And then we have some apples. These are Crimson Delight. So I'm gonna guess these are those kind of crunchy type, which is what we love. And then I just realized I might not be recording, but I am. And I think this might be it. Okay, and then I got some oat milk I use it for smoothies primarily, but so yeah, this is what we got. I want to say it was about $60. So I don't know if that sounds good or bad to you all. I did buy some fairly expensive things this time um, as a treat. Like these were $6.50, which is a lot, I think, but you know, I gave it a shot anyway. And also, I'm always a sucker for like free shipping, so I think you have to spend $60 to get free shipping. So sometimes I'll buy something I wouldn't normally buy to push it over, rather than pay a $5 delivery fee, and like, might as well get something, right? So that's kind of my rationale, but <laughs> not necessarily always the best way to consider it. So anyway, I hope that uh, this gives you some ideas maybe for things that you might want to try. I will try to make some videos or at least take pictures of some of the things that I make with these items that I got. So I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for being with me and I hope that you're living today on fire.